Hello and welcome to my video series on vector. So in this tutorial we'll be looking at a theorem in vector called midpoint theorem. So let's try to prove what midpoint theorem tells. Basically uh, at first I'm going to make a line segment. So this is line segment AB. So this is my line segment AB. I'm going to select one point right at the middle and I'm going to call it uh, M. You can name it whatever you like and so I'm going to draw a position vector for point A and point B. So position uh, for position vector we are going to take a point on origin that is 0 comma 0 and I'm going to just join it to point A and point B on line segment AB. So OA is the position vector for this point A and I'm going to call it vector A and for OB we can say it as vector B so OB is position vector for this point B and I'm going to call it vector B. Uh, since it is a vector uh, OA it means uh, we have to draw an arrow from point O to point A like this and similarly for OB I should draw another arrow that goes from O to B also I'm going to join O to M and vector OM I'll suppose it as vector M now since I've told you that this point M that lies on line segment AB that divides the line segment in two halves it means the ratio in which point M divides the line segment AB should be equal so the ratio should be 1 is to 1 now I'm going to take this triangle OMA and we can see it clearly that in triangle OMA I can write OM vector OM is equal to vector OA plus vector AM according to triangle law of vector addition it means uh, at first I'm taking vector OM so uh, if I, I've started from point O uh, it means going from point O to M is same as going to point O to A and then again coming back to M so from going from point O to M is same as going to point O to A and then A to M so I can write vector OM is equal to vector OA plus vector AM so this is what triangle law vector addition tells us uh, now in second part I'm going to take triangle OMB and I can say that I can use the same concept here that vector OM in this triangle vector OM so moving from point O to M is same as moving from point O to B and then B to M so I can write here vector OM is equal to vector OB plus vector BM so here is one small trick uh, you can apply to check uh, that whether uh, the vector you have taken is correct or not so if we look at this uh, triangle of vector addition or this vector statement we can see here that vector OM is equal to vector OB plus vector BM so if I get rid of this 2B so I have here point O and point M so vector OM is equal to we can say vector OB plus BM so if we get rid of this 2B we can see here OM and here also we have OM similarly in this upper statement we can if we remove this to A which are common then we can see that 
here we have OM which is uh, same as the vector in our left hand side which is vector OM I don't know if you get the concept but uh, it was just a small trick you can apply while solving the question based on vector geometry now if I say it as statement 1 and statement 2 and when I add these two statement I get uh, vector OM which is right over here in equation 1 and vector OM in equation 2 I've added the left hand side of both equation now here on right hand side I should add these vectors so I have OA plus AM plus OB plus BM so here I have vector OM plus vector OM which is twice vector OM is equal to so OA we can replace this OA by our small vector A representation and for AM I'm going to write it as it is and for OB I can write it as small b plus BM I'm going to write it as it is now uh, as we know that this point M is the midpoint of line segment AB, we can say that the magnitude or the distance of AM and MB, it's the same. The length is same for MA and MB. So AM and uh, BM, they have got the same magnitude or the same length. But since AM is moving from point A to point M, and BM is moving in its opposite direction that is from B to M so since they have same magnitude but uh, different direction we can simply get rid of these two vectors or we can just uh, simply cancel them so after canceling them we have twice vector OM is equal to vector A plus vector B and here I have supposed OM as twice vector m a plus b so finally what we have here is vector m is equal to vector a plus vector b divided by 2 so this is what we have to prove in our midpoint theorem of vector geometry i hope uh, it is clear to you whatever i have said in this tutorial uh, and thanks for watching